Hello YouTube, KiwiFan68 here, and today we're going to be doing some alternate histories um, from my perspective, how I think what would happen. Right then, the first one is what would happen if the US lost the Revolutionary War? As you guys know, me and the US, I don't really like them, so this is, this is why this one came first. Any Americans watching this and find this offensive, well, I'd what? I'd um, click off the video if I were you. So, the main reason why the Americans won the Revolutionary War and why they are now a superpower and, you know, they rule the world with nuclear weapons and yada yada yada, they're going to get nuked by the communists in India, but as we all know right now, in um, our timeline, because they're, they're, not, they're on the verge of collapse because the, the Russians are getting this close to using their new, new nuclear weapons to kill them. To nuke the heck out of them because they were the, um it was was it the US or was it the um Russians who came out because they made this pact about um oh not allowing to build certain amounts of nuclear weapons and they they came out of that I don't know who came out of it was it Russia or America I don't know and because of that they had tensions are rising and they're gonna nuke each other same with China all right I mean enough um, babbling um so the main reason why they lost one even is they had help from the French um the French well. The French had a bit, was a bit angry with the UK, aka me, God save the bloody Queen, and then they wanted to get back at the Brits, so, um, uh, they, um, funded the, um, American, the American, um, rebels, aka giving them weapons, men, ships, and all sorts, and, um, yeah. And so, without the French, um, America was easily crushed by the British, yeah, was, by the British, by, by, by the British Empire, and the uh, 13 colonies um, stayed, the 13 colonies. And any um, historical, f and, and any um, American um, revolutionary um, figures, like, I don't know, um, I don't know, like the, the Founding Fathers, for example, were either killed um, or arrested or went into hiding. And of course, the British, and then the British, then people, um, the tensions, and then tensions rise within, the, within um, the 13 colonies between the, um, between the, um, Brits and the um well, the uh, origin the um Americans, and they well well the tensions rise basically. So probably there'll probably be a couple of rebellions which will be squashed by the Brits and they'll all die. Rest in peace, Americans. Am I right? <laughs> and the Native Americans, well, they might still be pushed out or maybe they'll be kept in. I don't know. And Canada just well, Canada doesn't, just doesn't exist because um I don't know the French just won't work. And because of this, um, because the French weren't in debt, that means debt, but because they gave all the money to America, that means Napoleon wouldn't take the throne, and, you know, French Revolution wouldn't start. So that means, um, that changes everything. So Germany isn't really, well, as big as it used, is. And the British Empire just, um, and I think, the, and I, in this reality, I don't even think, I don't think um, with the British Empire would go straight for Australia right after they lost America to independence so yeah that's um that's that situa situation and um yeah the 13 colonies just stay the 13 colonies but i don't know what will happen like in the future like you know the, the nine the, the 21st the 21st century or what like what happened with world war two or world war one I? I don't know many people have done that before like for example mine mine in high castle mine in high castle that has nothing to do with it well speak of the man in high castle Let's, let's get on to, what if the Nazis won World War II? Now, if you guys think this is even more offensive, click off the video. Um, so, if the Nazis won, they, if, it, if they actually did won, um, there'd be a lot of changes. Far too many to explain in this video, but a couple of things will happen. Um, well, they'll, they'll take over Britain, Operation Sea Lion is a go, and, well, the, Brit the Brits, um, apparently, um, failed the bat battle Britain and they lose it, and so that means the Luftwaffe are able to, um, you know, take down the RAF, RAF, the Royal Air Force, and, um, the British, the British, um, Royal Family fl flee to Canada, and I think Canada's just, ugh, Canada's always the same, so, so, um, t towards the US. Then, so then, then Germany takes over the entirety of Europe. This, remember, this is just one scenario. This could happen in different ways. Um, in in this one, this in this one scenario, um, um, Germany could either um, um as soon as they can, um, win the war, the European war, um, 
the European side of the war, they could either um, go after, um, go destroy, um, conquer Italy or um, help them out. Because, um, well, Mussolini and Hitler didn't really like each other at the time. But um, the, the, there was allies out of convenience, not because of they, ju you know, not because Mussolini really liked Nazism, you know, killing Jews, you know, um, killing disabled people. It was quite bad. And, um, yeah. And, and um, when Germany takes over France and Poland and um, Belgium and other countries like that, was Belgium even a country back then? I think it was. Um, they 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 um they add puppet gov gov governments in in place, and when they go into Britain, when the German soldiers take over Britain, they're actually quite nice to Brit to the Brits, and but then they'll um then they'll just uh then they'll not secret um killing things. Any sign of resistance will just be met with Germans um executing civilians, and that means um it'll just starve out any resistance. And and America. America could either develop the bomb first, aka the nuke, and nuke Germany, or Germany could nuke America first. First, they either way, they were main enemies. But um, the as soon as Germany wins the war, the um, 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 businesses could um will be the prime will be like the prime demographic for the Germans. They were like, oh, he gives us your loot, and they're like, yeah, 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 with the price. You know, matter what, no matter if the if the Americans didn't like the Germans or not. And Japan, well, Japan would still lose would lose the war to America, even even if um, um, Germany didn't help them out. Because the main reason why German, Germany lost if is was declaring war of America. If they didn't declare war of America, they wouldn't have lost. But um, they didn't. So um, in this timeline, they didn't, and Japan was just destroyed by America. And well, it wasn't really destroyed. It was kind of like. Quite a rough state, fire bombing, not really nukes though, because they didn't develop the nukes. And um, Africa would just be conquered, con 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 conquered by Germany, killing all the, you know, Africans, native Africans. And the, um, the British colonies, now that Britain's, well, gone, and they'd probably vote for independence, um, or or probably not, like Aust or, or not like Australia and the Falklands. Um, and for Russia, Russia would just um, would go into a stalemate with, with the German war machine. Um, neither side would win; they'd just be in a massive stalemate. But eventually, German, Germany would push the um, the, the Ruskies back into um, in, into the tundra, and they would just be um, well destroyed. And um, um, and, they, and and after all that is done, the Germans enact Lebensraum, which um, if you don't know what that is, that means. Um, killing pretty much everything that's classed as inferior, quote unquote. For example, Jews, disabled, Slavs, so, so on and so on. Remember, guys, this is offensive, so shut up. Um, it's, 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 you find this offensive, but okay. So that means there's going to be a there'll be a massive genocide bigger than the Holocaust that occurred in our timeline, and that means yeah, a lot of people's going to die. <laughs> a lot of people's going to die, but um. Then and anyone who does do the Germans do deem um the, the not inferior um will will have to have if they for example if there's women they'd have to have um children with a uh, Germans so with um proper Aryan Germans and that means so that basically means they can breed out the um you know the the, the, um, the inferior race and so they can make only pure Aryans. Aryans. We should have blonde, blue eyed, so, so on and so on. Proper German blood, like good old proper German people. I actually follow and all that. Yeah, um. And now we're getting to something called, kind of similar to um the, the, the book Dutchland. Dutch, Dutchland? Yeah. Where um, two, two superpowers, American on one side, German on the other, are separated by, by the sea. Oh. And, um, yeah. People within the, in in America kind of like uh, kind of like German, but um, Germany and America kind of remain sour enemies, and um, yeah, Japan will probably take Australia. I'm st I keep rattling this Lego box. It's, Lego box is annoying me, and yeah, that's pretty much what happens if Germany won World War Two. Hitler would obviously die, but someone else would probably take over, and um, the but the problem is the Nazi the Nazi um religion or. Was it religion? I don't know. The Nazi, hi the Nazi hierarchy was based on one thing, Aryans against all. The problem was, they pretty much beat out every competition. And that means having an enemy to fight. And the only really enemy they have left is the, Rus the, the, the remaining Russians and the, um, 
and the um, Americans not across the sea, who uh, who could easily build build a good military in order to um, go against um, Russia, but uh, would basically probably fail. Same with Russia, so they'd probably invest in long range bombers to um, to nuke each other. And Britain is stuck in Canada, trying to um, um, trying to uh, well get, reclaim their their empire because well, with the Germany has set up a pu puppet go government in uh, in the um. In Britain, in Britannia, so um, if you don't know what Britannia is, it's Britain, you idiots. Um, yeah. So if you thought that was too complex, it's far too complex for you to understand. Well, if you just wanted to hear me rambling for a bit, here's the final scenario. Yeah, that, that's what happens if Germany won World War Two. Well, well, this that's just one scenario. If I miss, if I missed anything out, yeah, I just got this from a couple of books and um. Yeah, kind of mesh molded like, and of course, well, actually another another point because well, German tech, German engineering is awesome. Um, the military they probably in, in invest in better military, better military technology. So um, you know, better guns, better vehicles, probably hover hover tanks, and maybe even better rockets so they can um nuke America easily. Yeah, and that's that one. So that's what happens if would well, that is what would happen if Germany um won World War Two. Now for the next scenario. <laughs> What if the Cold War went nuclear? So, you know, in the 60s, America and um, Russia were with high tensions, you know. They're both they were two big superpowers with a lot of nukes to fire at each other. And um, there was a lot of um, fear about, you know, the Reds, the Reds, um, you know, shoot, destroying America, which I kind of want. Just joking. Um, <laughs> um, if this is offensive, um, well, I don't care. So if the Cold War went nuclear, well... Remember, guys, there are no winners to a nuclear war, so Russia would fire all their nukes, America would fire all their nukes. Both, both, um, con both, um, superpowers would be destroyed, and other countries like the UK, um, um, India, and, um, and, um, a couple other countries would get involved, would probably get, would probably get involved. Britain would probably stay out of it, but Russia would probably aim at them as well. So, um, rest in peace, awesome, alright? For Britain, and to be honest, um, a scenario like this is actually kind of happening today. If you've read, if you've seen the news, um, like I said earlier, America came out that um a war pact that they um actually did in the Cold War that um they, that they limited um oh it was it, the, the the pact was about this nuclear pact was about um what was it about limiting the amount of w w weapons a, a a country could build, but and um just recently Russia or was it America we don't know. Um, came out of that pact, so um, that me and that also means uh, Russia and uh, America are, built, are we are increasing their armaments of nuclear weapons. So uh, something similar to the Cold War going nu nuclear might happen today, and we might all die soon, guys. Oh Jesus! Well, I don't know what will happen to Britain. To be honest, I, I don't know what happened to us tea drinking um pe people. I'd, I'd still be drinking a cup of tea in, <laughs> in a nuclear war, but I don't know what would happen. I don't know, just, basically, America would be destroyed, Russia would be destroyed, so yay, two warring superpowers for the last century, or decade, has been destroyed, wonderful, so that, that, that would basically leave a giant power vacuum, and this would basically mean that Britain would probably, um, seize the opportunity to, um, well, expand their empire again, or Australia, or, um, India, probably, India, Iraq, and Pakistan will probably go mental and stop bombing the heck out of each other. China, China would probably engage, would probably help Bush out and, and fire m and nukes at America as well, but they'd probably be destroyed by American nukes as well. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, China, Russia, America would all be destroyed, and maybe South Korea and North Korea would, maybe, um, North Korea and Kim Jong-un would probably, um, be invested, he'd probably get nukes as well in, in, in the aftermath, um, North Korea. So they ask good, yay, no North Korea. That's wonderful, I hate North Korea, they suck. All, all, it's just one big massive concentration camp. And then, um, so that means, that means, so now now we have a couple victors in this um, nuclear war. So America, um, Russia, China and, and North Korea have all been eradicated. So that leaves a couple countries that are, that are most powerful after all these guys. That means Australia, Japan... Britain, South America, who is have a, who has a forest fire going on, and and probably Mexico, not really Mexico, and Canada, yeah, Canada, 
Canada would, Britain would probably seize, would probably, um, um, Canada would probably seize what's left of the US. Britain would use, prob, would probably expand their empire. Would probably, um, the European Union and Britain would probably, um, expand to Russia. Australia would, um, would, um, would, um, make peace with Japan, or probably, I don't know. they probably expand up, upwards, and, um, India and the Pakistan and all that, uh, they'd, they'd probably, uh, make peace or something, I don't know. Or, or find their, all their nuclear weapons at each other. And, yeah. Yeah, that was happen, that would happen if the cold, that would, that's what would happen. No, no, this, this Wait, did Britain have control of India back then? I don't know. But if they did, yeah, India would probably go mental as well. Um, so yeah, that's, that, that's what would happen if the Cold War went nuclear. Um, like, and subscribe, guys, if you like these alternate history scenarios. And if you want to see more of them, hit, hit that subscribe button. or Hit that subscribe button. Or I'm writing in the comment section what um, alternate history scenario you'd want me to do next. I'm not turning into alternate history club, trust me. It's just I'm a really big fan of them. I just want to do my own. And look, this minute, this video is um, more than ten minutes long. You know what that means? Ads. I just screamed in the, and screamed in that my ads. But no, no, no. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Like, favorite, subscribe. You know, all that, all that jazz. And bye.